nine o'clock. I've been up since about six this morning. I had to go and pick up the kids and take Nick to school and now I'm home. I need to clean up the kitchen a little bit and then I'm gonna make some breakfast. <laughs> working on putting away all of this laundry in our room right now but I can hear Travis and Ray out here playing and it's so cute. Daddy! Luigi! Is that Ziki? Yeah. Ow! Ow! Crazy Ow. air! Crazy air! Crazy air! Ow. Crazy air! Crazy Ow. air! Ow. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> doing laundry I'm now to the point where I'm hanging up all of our shirts and as I think I've mentioned before our closet is really full because we have a lot of shirts and I've acquired a lot of dresses since we got here like from here back is all dresses so I have a lot of dresses and a lot of shirts they go all the way into Travis's side that's where my shirts stop all the way into Travis's side so, I just went through, and anything that I have not worn in the last three months, I'm getting rid of. This whole pile of stuff, I'm getting rid of. This whole top bit is dresses. That's all dresses, and this is all shirts. And there's quite a few there. Pretty proud of myself right now, because I haven't gone through my shirts and everything in quite some time. I don't ever wear that one either. Huh, another one. But I'm not really sure what I'm doing with them, if I'm going to take them to the attic or try to sell them. Or I kind of want to sign up for, um, they have like a yard sale every first and third weekend of every month at uh, the Chibana Golf Course. Or like by the dog park, it's literally right beside the dog park. And you can go and sell things. And clothes usually get scooped up really, really fast. But they're usually sold for like 100 to 200 yen a piece. So if you have a lot of stuff, you could make a lot of money off of it. But if you don't have a lot of stuff, then you're only making like $10. But I'm hoping to maybe do that later this month and make a little bit off of this stuff. We had an email earlier that we have a package at the post office. So we headed this way a little bit before we had to pick up Nick from school but the line at the post office is incredibly long, so we decided to not do that right now and came to get Calvin's haircut. We had to wake him up though because he fell asleep on the way here and he's sitting here with the biggest grump look on his face right now. But at least he's not crying. I love when he gets his haircut, he looks so cute. Love you. <laughs>
<laughs> Are y'all done? Looking spiffy, little man. You look so nice. You did so good. You were. Where? Ah! No. Oh, look at that spider. Oh, look at that spider. He tried to get out. Oh. He is big. Oh. He tried to get out. It's huge. I'm so scared for you right now. I don't really want to smash it. So Travis picked up this bag of stuff. He saw a really big extension cord in it, so he picked it up, but it also has some garbage in it. Um, when we went to go and pick up Nick, or after we picked up Nick, and then we pulled it out of the car, he saw a huge spider in it, and now he's trying to find it because he doesn't want to kill it. He just wants to let it go. Like a sick human. I'm literally scared for you right now. Until it just jumps. <gasps> they always do that. They lunge. Oh god, there he's he free! Oh, that's a big spider! Ooh. Calvin, no! It's a real spider! That's my foot. That's the spider. <laughs> like oh, it's huge! Oh, it's so gross. You can get it. You can see it. It's like walking a dog. It's enormous. You win too, my baby. You, I win too. With the help of this guy, I just got all the Christmas decorations put away outside. All the lights and such. I thought we were gonna need a ladder to take all the ones off the roof, but he pretty much just pulled on them and they all came down. Thank you. You're welcome. You went a lot faster with your help. <laughs> and now, we gonna do it all over again somewhere else next year this year that's still weird not used to it yet I said that I would have them all taken down around New Year's but it's now five days after that and mm, we're just getting to it but we've been busy bees our neighbors upstairs got a new puppy the neighbor next to us is watching it while they're at work so I'm gonna sneak out and go and pet him <laughs> I want to do pet him. He's so cute. Look at him. He's a spastic little guy. Look at him. He's like a widow bear. You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so Yesterday, Travis got this whole board game etched out for us. It's the real game of life. So like real things that actually happen. Like this person, you can get mugged or let's see, payday and love things. You can try drugs and be a prostitute. It's the real game of life. And we had first played it when we, what? We went to Saturday Market with your dad and Tyler mm -hmm and he bought it. His dad bought it. And we played then, and I haven't played since then. I don't know if you guys have, 
but it was so fun, and every time we talked about like board games and getting together with friends, I was like, we should play the real game of life. So Travis had the idea to get a big board and then get it etched out on it, because they have a laser etcher at work, so now we have a huge board game, and I'm so excited to play it that we're just going to play the two of us. Even though it might not be that fun, just the two of us, I'm still excited to play. So let's go! smiley faces basically has the most happiness at the end of the game and that's what this game is about is who is the happiest when they die not who has the most money but who's the happiest and I won good morning so yesterday I did not end the vlog so I'm gonna um, do that now so yeah um, I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog in this outfit that I just got from Amazon. For now, that is that, and we will see you when we see you. Bye! Boy, I adore.